Hello MySpacers and YouTubers, um, I've been watching the news recently and if nobody notices there's a problem, there most certainly is, and it's just no day to day, so I decided I'm going to make some videos, but we clearly are in the last days, we are the chosen generation, uh, sons of the most high, you know, we gotta stand up for the word and the truth through everything. Watching the news, of course, this economic stimulus package is the big one going on right now. Of course, the Democrats got control of both the House, the Senate, and the Democrats have the overriding majority, so of course it's going to pass. But I was looking at some stuff that's included in this package, and it's basically going to bankrupt America $83 million. It's not going to be right away, but it's a slow deceiving process, probably within six months or so, let's say. Um, slow deceiving process to deceive the people, you know. Uh, Amtrak uh, is a is, is supposed to get paid in this, but that eighty three million dollars that reward to people who don't even pay taxes, you know, as if uh, paying taxes is already right to form a stealing. Clearly, Constitution sixteen from Madison says you don't have to pay an income tax, you know. But pretty much all the illegals and stuff, you know, the Boeing, you know, Acorn, all that stuff, you know, um, is all tied in with this stuff. You know, you got the Israel. There's so much work, things going on in the world now. Just the world just passing away right in front of your eyes, just like the Prophet John said, you know, do not love the world because everything in the world is evil, you know, the cravings and lustful thoughts of men, you know, are evil, um, you know, everything, you know, the Israel, uh, Iranian, Gaza conflict, you know, um, uh, what's his name, a lot of people don't even realize this, but Bezim Nezim Yahu, or whatever his name is, Nezim Yahu, who is favored to... Uh, win to uh, win in Israel the elections February 12th there. If he wins, he's a hardliner and probably most likely will attack Iran and the nuclear facilities, uh, primarily since uh, Obama doesn't really defend Israel. He's not a defender of Israel. And of course, you know what happens when that happens in the Bible. When you don't defend Israel, the U.S. will be destroyed because it's prophesied Babylon in the Bible. Uh, anybody who doesn't know that has a problem. Um, you know, Russia and all the Middle Eastern nations are going to turn against uh, America basically, but in the end they'll be defeated by God's armies too when they march on Israel because anybody who tries to destroy Israel, God is behind them, you know, strongest military in the world and everything, but I was going to say though, the Jews currently that occupy the land though too, the real uh, people, uh, Jews though, are the 12 lost tribes of Israel in the Bible, you know, the 144,000 that are sealed, you know, the uh, the great prophets on this website, the uh, Hebrew Israelites, um, um, multicolored people are I well respect them. I respect them a lot in their ministries. I also respect uh, Pastor Harry at satansrapture.com too. Um, all these people know their truth. That's where I get a lot of my information and sources from here on the net. Uh, gathering to Christ Church here on this line. But just wanted to let everybody know that we are in the last days. Make no mistake about it. Um, another sign too recently is this fat tax, you know, which is just a, a, my new thing in New York. They're trying to pass us Starbucks recently, you know. is another thing I heard this morning. Decaf coffee they want to cut out before 12, which is uh, even worse. And then, of course, you know, we had Bloody Monday where, where like 60,000, 70,000 people lost jobs, you know, at these uh, random places. They're just closing doors. Circuit City in my area is closing doors IBM is and I read a thing recently that Sears and Kmart could be going under soon along with Starbucks and some of these other restaurants Applebee's possibly too even food places now and just like the Bible says you know a penny for a wheat slage we currently are in the last days and I gotta tell you something we are so close to the possible beginning of the pre-tribulation rapture and the, and the two uh, raptures of the church of Philadelphia I'm not quite sure a lot of people believe there's a rapture I always keep my mind open on both sides I tend to lean more uh, about 65 70 percent that there's no pre-tribulation rapture why uh, no pre-tribulation rapture based on the fact of the faith faith prosperity churches you know twisting and uh, reversing text around plus uh, before 1860 if you went by the Old Testament there was no such thing as a pre-tribulation rapture but also also the faith prosperity and ministers too who uh, stole millions of dollars off people in the Left Behind series and the one world government they're trying to push with Catholicism you know and and the Star of David basically you know just like the Nazis did you know with Hitler you know the, the broken cross you know of course a lot of people don't notice but Pastor Harry site is an excellent site I'm going to give his link up there but his uh his uh, one site talks about how the 
when the when the, the Nazi symbol was twisted to you know the broken cross, just like the peace symbol, where they a lot of people in the '60s wore it. But he talks about how the left side represented more demonic force, and the right side religious, and how the Nazi symbol was more tilted towards the right back in the, the 1940s when the when it happened when they killed all the innocent Jews there uh, that were Jews. But um, he talks about how. Uh, Basically, Hitler used the, the more religious symbolism side with the broken cross. So, I mean, it's evil as the One World Order is still here. NWO declare we want a one world government. Amero, FEMA concentration camps, which I believe is is, is the ultimate rapture. Um, basically, that's why I lean more 60 to 70 percent that there's no uh, pre tribulation rapture. However, the reason why I think there could be a pre tribulation rapture where I lean about 50 to 55 percent, it's really close for me, um, is the fact that, you know, uh, the line where it says in Matthew there, he'll lead you away from the hour of testing and temptation that's coming up on the whole world. You know, um, I mean, I saw an article today, in a, which is disgusting too in the news, about this dog the woman cloned for $155,000. you got to be freaking kidding me, you know. I mean, man is now starting to play God too, and I mean, you know, and uh, when a man starts doing this and you start forsaking Israel, I mean, that's a nation that gets punished, but I mean all the European influence in the world too, and the, the distortion and the lies. That's why you have cults on both sides too. I mean you have um, white racist Aryans who think that they're the best race you know in the world, you know, and they use the uh, case of uh, black versus white, you know, and that um, no black man is right. But also too, you have black cults out there too who have the Star of David and stuff on their head, believing they should have the right to kill the white man and they have the power to smite. You know, I mean, which just isn't true because God says in the Ten Commandments, not uh, they shall not kill. You know, they shall not murder. They shall not commit adultery. You know, fornication, put idols before God. They shouldn't gamble. They shouldn't drink, graven images. You know, things like tattoos and stuff. But you know, basically, this is what our world's become in one sick place. And I mean, even Obama. Obama recently he signed a uh, legislation about uh, bringing back late-term abortions. So I mean, this is basically a tool that the Antichrist is going to use, I believe, in in the end times. You know, to brainwash all all kinds of people into uh, taking this falsehood religion. Basically, you notice the Antichrist is probably going to say, I imagine, just like Pastor Harry said, you should listen to his shows sometimes. I'll leave the link on here, but saying sex with anything and everything is okay, you know, sex is the way to God, just like Nine Inch Nails years ago, that freakish music video, you know, where it talks about you bring me closer, you know, to God, where he talks about sex and stuff, you know, he'll probably teach, you know, it's okay to kill, you know, sometimes and sometimes not, you know, and just like some of these cults practices, you know, you had the Black Panthers out there, you know, all these white supremacist groups, both sides, I mean, it's sad, but, you know, fact is, is, you know, a lot of these brothers and sisters out there, too, are prophets of the Most High, too. Like I said, they don't even know their nationality. And, you know, we're, we're the white race, too, is pretty much Edomites, though, from the study, and, you know, that I've done, you know, Gentiles and Israelites. But just because of that, you know, it doesn't mean you can't be an Israelite and uh, be saved because, you know, there's hope for everybody. That's what I like about the... Uh, the Gathering of Christ Church of uh, Philadelphia here on YouTube because the brothers really know their uh, their stuff and uh, I'm uh, g proud to be saying that I'm their friends and, uh, and brother in Christ but they know how to speak the truth and it's just sad that a lot of the young brothers don't understand that you know people fight over religion and war and stuff you know and it's just uh, sad you know what our world's coming to it's becoming so violent as in the days of Noah almost you know people are still out there living drinking partying you know giving in and outside of marriage you know I come from a divorced family myself so I mean I live with my dad you know he's in that little but you know I mean in general you know things are tough out there and you know and, and I basically I just live with him you know try to get along and I'm trying to get into the Christian wilderness more because the mark of the beast is clearly coming to and you know I mean this economic stimulus passion and everything's behind it but just wanted to say though just do your research uh, Bilderberg group trilateral commission you know CFR Federal Reserve Illuminati you know all these groups Bilderberg you know all behind the one world order Obama himself is a member of CFR and Illuminati I heard too so I mean it's just sad and plus he's a handmite too they did that purposely to fool their people just go to HODC uh, 10 on here and find out more information on that I'm going to have some uh, links posted on that side's video but hope the most high will bless you at all times and uh, I'm going to have a couple more videos later I'm going to go back to bed a bit but 
I want to talk about some more issues on my mind, like about this economic stimulus package and more, and uh, all this stuff that they're doing to try to deceive you. So, hope you enjoyed this video. May the most high be with you at all times. Uh, I love you guys, and whatever you do, don't buy into the new world order and take the mark of the beast, because your soul will be uh, in hell forever. And try to get along with your Christian brethren and friends, and try to find one of the Christian uh, wildernesses out there too. So, uh, have a great video too. I'll post here the link. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and. Uh, I love you guys. Bye.